to the offense. Flash through the window, and we're gonna get a quick pop into the A site. It is shut down, shut off, shut out. Go away, they yell to Halzer, who looks to clutch back in the 1v4, but Red Star's aggression. Last nuke. Right, 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 right. So, so let's hope that, you know, he can reactivate for this second one. Yeah, just uh, rub it off, wash it off. Forget about it. Turn it on. Turn it up. Park. Oh, I thought I was on overpass for a second. Oh yeah, that 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 little night that club, little club. Huh? What do you think they're doing in there? No cameras allowed. Drugs. Yep. Rock and roll. Smoke's all over the place. Terrorists actually have the counter terrorists kind of wrapped in, but uh, Harn carves one out. See ya, sucker. Freiburg. Dropped before he even had a chance. Clean from Harn. Nice. As he cuts down Hauserk and Forrest as well, leaving only Heaps D yes. to do any damage. Tunia didn't take it. Felt like he missed some shots that were actually, like, some of the easier shots that hit some of the harder shots, you know, Draken type syndrome. Ah. Uh, and I was like, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess the one thing is he does give himself a lot of chances, and he believes he's going to hit all his shots, so those, those, that's good. But maybe, maybe just a bit too, uh, a bit too confident. Maybe just a bit too confident. We'll, we'll see as Nuke goes on, but for now it's looking like the 3-0 sweep. It's Dignitas, remember? Yeah, but they don't have armor. They don't have utility. And they don't have the opening kill either. Red Star shuts down. Freiburg falls back. Doesn't want to die to a flood of Dignitas. But that's not going to happen. They are still very much spread out, leaving Lecro solo outside and the three other members challenging into ramp. I say challenge, but it's being pretty much offered over up until this point or the entrance of the B site. They just want to get some rotations back, but while they do that, they get thinned down a little bit. And now Harn can play as aggressive as he'd like to. Just try to hold it down, make sure they don't get a bomb plant here. Such a strong angle to try to hit headshots, of course, from this position. And he doesn't waste one too many bullets Ooh. either. Ooh. Wow, okay, you hate the Cyrex. No, I don't Why do you hate, hate Harn? it. Why do you hate Harn's taste, huh? Bad. No, you hate Harn, not me. Don't put words in my mouth as Dignitas put pressure into a site. Keeps just gonna run right out, guns down Victor, tries to turn it back onto Bubble, who's just spamming smoke with his D. And now a site continues to fall. Red Star's got another one, but this is hectic, and this is Freiburg. He's got three kills inside the a site. Bubble finally pushing through that mini smoke, and he's being held in by the AWP, or so he was. Hauser tucks back into Hut, gives a little bit of room for Bubble to work. They know that he was over here, and he may have just been spotted. Sure enough, Freiburg gets eyes on it. And a tidbit of damage, too. If Hauserk dies, then suddenly that backside player is compromised. And sure enough, the gun down from Bubble. He just runs right into Hauserk. Freiburg, he needs to do it, but where is he gone? That's what Bubble asks himself. He chases around and around. He goes with the kill and the clutch. Oh, wow. He grabs it. Nicely done. Honestly, oh man, that's a spot where... Either way, some insane, some insane entry work from Freiburg, though, with that spray transfer up into the heavens. Smokes down to the... Yeah, I was going to say... Oh, doesn't stop Red Star. Smoke shot and bubbles wide swing out from the staircase. Immediate 5v3 versus the guns of Dignitas. Well, they'll be feeling a lot better now. Yeah. Takes the edge off. Nice strong start, but wow! But it oh. is taken aback. So close. There's an entry route through here. Oh, Victor just missed that oh, peak. Man. And because there's no mini player, Heap's gonna be fine. Heap's gonna be further than Victor could ever expect, but they don't clear Hut, so Victor's good to go. Shuts it down in the end. All three oh, kills from him. Again here for Dignitas. 
Fiend looking to break this bad spell they've had on Nuke. Bubble's gonna dive down Vent in anticipation of a drop. They're trying to dump a bit of utility, but then they go running into the ramp. Harn tries to get ahead of it. He'll lose his life, taking one down with him. Off posted on Dreamer. Excuse me, that's Red Star. And he's taking more and more damage. Those deagles pummeling him back. With 30 HP, he concedes the room. Yeah, and they scored a rotation downstairs, confirmed by that incendiary that comes up to the ramp. So now the CTs start to get a little bit floaty, just in case the Ignatovs are going to group up and punish them for making this move. And will there be timing here for Lecro? It gets a lot of good damage in. Good again. This time, different spot. Deagle damage, sure enough. Again. Ooh, fast start. Oh, another opening. Yeah. Again, the gun rounds just kind of get chopped down pretty quick. Freiburg's got the equalizer. Oh, my God. Oh, Red that's Star, second great off frag. from Heap. Damn. Lecro kind of caught between two different fights, and he'll fall for it. Freiburg just hoping that they extend into lobby right into the crosshair. But Red Star is being pretty patient. Posting up. Ooh, just getting ahead of Freiburg. Now Freiburg's on the angle, and Red Star comes right back into it. Forest's drops should be heard, but I guess not. Red Star doesn't react to it. It's Forest on for the 1v4, turned 1v3. We'll have to go get Bomb. And he's actually being given that space to do as he pleases. This will be a tough sell regardless. So much util here for Fiend to work with, and everyone can just post up on an angle. Looking to make it seem like he could sneak down the vent, maybe pull the ramp guy down a little bit. And there isn't even one. I don't know if there's one tucked in the corner here, or if he's downstairs. Yeah, one behind B site. Mr. Bubble. Very much on his own. Oh, we saw him. Bubble's going to call for the rotates. If he can win the duel on his own, that's good. And he'll do exactly the thought. Oh. So far, I'm uninspired. At least not by Dig, don't get me wrong. Team Fiend with this turnaround, I love to see it. Pistol push, single Mac 10 awesome. shut down by Victor. Forrest has some kind of an answer and hands on an AK now. He's going to smoke his own plant. What the hell? He flies around the site. Oh my god, there was still an opposite vet. They're so damn low. The HP near non-existent forest on for the ace. The double CZ into AK upgrade. Oh, yeah, we're actually also in a position where maybe they can't even buy if they lose the next round. So this could be an enormous opportunity for Dignitas to make this game competitive. But we've seen the opening kills be so hot for Fiend. Everywhere they've looked, they found one. Ooh, he's right ahead of this boost. Spotted. Yeah, you can't go for that repeak. You're not allowed. Don't do it. That's illegal. So they'll replace here with Bubble. That's okay. Just make sure someone is in secret. And he can also be the guy to check outside if the, to see if there is going to be some kind of fake in the presence. Forrest was exposed moments ago, but... He has now fallen down off the rooftops to join his three teammates. Nice splash, but Ooh. spray from Bubbles a miss. I mean, like, not even one bullet. Yeah, it didn't hit anything. Okay. Holy hell, I don't want to click moment. for him sometimes. Right? Just want to tell him to do it. So Dangerous game, too. Like, phasing out the smokes and still standing in the open, but... They don't want to give away any audio cues. This is not a bad round so far, but time will play a factor in just Definitely. a few seconds, so... Molly lands in front of them, so speaking of time, it's going to become... Oh, man, that's not... Oh, how, ooh, how, ooh, Hauser. Damn, dude, that's a ton of damage off of the Molotov. 20 seconds left. 
They're going to try to spearhead down into the B site. Harn and Bubble locked in above it, and they are so high up on that silo that Freiburg and Halzerk never even had a damn chance. He drops down into the site itself. Eight seconds left on the clock. Forrest and Heap in with a couple kills. Forrest tries to get another, but it's all shut down. on the money. <laughs> Just above the head. Just a little high. I love the instant change of pace. I feel like this is something that Fiend were missing a little bit uh, on their Mirage. Sure. Agreed, yeah. But it is still a seven round lead and a very lonely one round win for Dig. Red Star contemplating the call to action on ramp. They caught one player outside, a solo Freiburg. Harn opens the doors, but doesn't actually fall through them. Ooh, Molly starts to push him back ever so slightly. Oh, even blind, he gets the headshot, but he will be swarmed. Hauser gets the kill. There's a player on decon, ready to go. Uh, there's no one actually in control side to fight them at the moment. No, but the longer they wait, the longer they don't plant this bomb, the sooner that this heavy emphasis on ramp is going to come around and ruin oh, them. Yeah, no no plants yet. Uh... Oh, it's awkward, dude. Uh -oh. Forrest standing in the open. Oh, and the peak comes through, but so does the bomb plant. However, costing them two lives, and then it's just on heap. He's surrounded and dealt with. Fiend, 9-1 CT side. Yeah, they got to be happy about that one. Not Definitely not a very impressive T side so far. Might be off the second. Damn. Another buy up coming in for Dignitas. Oh, they missed the smoke towards Mini. It's thrown too soon before the door explodes. Victor traded out, but Dreamer still got the backside, and Bubble wastes no time coming in through Mini. That's where Freiburg stops him. Forrest in with the trade frag in the 1v2 attempt. As he looks to drop down Vent, but he's oh, kind of lost in smoke. Yeah, he might be on the other side of it. Ah, uh, it's awkward. He's going to regain vision. And he is still very much given the space to fall if he needs it, if he wants it, if he chooses to take it. Team Fiend just going to sit back, oh, this is a focus on the crosshairs, and hope Forrest makes a mistake. Yeah, any situation like this, obviously an upper exec falling vent is a really, really great way to just uh, reset the... Ooh! Oh! Uh. Uh. And now Forrest falls silent. A uh. deafening one-tap. And a definite clutch needed. Harn at the health disadvantage, and Forrest, the patience of a saint. He continues to wait, and Harn begins to wrap around. Forrest trying to keep eyes on it. It's a battle of the wits. A battle of the minds. Time hits 25, and Forrest needs to go. He could still always run this down vent, and that would definitely leave Harn scrambling for the clutch, but Harn makes his play! Armor and some utility around it. Hot damn. In this entire, you know, 10 round, 10 round CT side, there's only been two rounds by way of defuse. Mm. Eight wins without even a bomb plant for Dig. Their map pick, by the way. They tried to ride hot from Mirage into Nuke and it's them that's left burnt so far. Ooh, damage as they try to envelop the ramp. Red Star will kill Freiburg. Again, that solo outside play. Bubble good for the one downstairs. This could be the bomb plant. Lecro just got around, but he's been spotted for sure. Victor trying to track him. And a 2v4. Heap and Hauser both low health, but Heap starts with the headshot. Frag grenade up close. Oh, damn. That nearly kills Heap outright. And Halzerk looking for a fight in the 1v3, but they're all coming in from the opposite direction. He's got his A1S up. Window's already busted. He starts to make his move, but caught by Red Star. This CT side is stellar. It's, so, it's solid. I would have loved to see how they made it so close the last time, but we can also see how Fiend were able to win. Double ops up. Freiburg no longer so lonely outside. And a rather quick play, pay, place. Yep. 
re rather quick pace from Dignitas. But there's a player behind them. Oh, Red Star's about to get challenged. Easy pickup oh. versus Hauser. Just saw something in the smoke, a shadowy figure, a mysterious being. And, well, make it more a beam because this one's looking over again. Team Fiend just wrecking face outside. Lecro with a little bit of a lifeline hunts for another opening. It's him and Forrest. 2v5. Turn to the 2v4. The winds of change loud outside. And Forrest, yeah, not cautious enough of this corner. So Bubble, he's going to extend outwards. Quick execution. No pain, no misery. But still a miserable T-side. Bomb's not even scooped up. Lecro going to make all the sound in the world. 30 seconds left over. Damn, man. Team Fiend fighting for that 14-1. Yeah. I mean, it's great to see that they're alive. Oh, 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 <laughs> He's actually farming. Dreamer is 5-4. and four, Just hasn't had to do much. Going to try to keep up the tempo. Lecro, maybe mini wrap? Yes, sir. And because Bubble just went down vents, this opens it up to Victor to die out. But Dreamer's got the cover from on top of Hunt, and then that gives just enough time for Victor to swing. Forrest again. Last time they won a round, it was his 4K on the upper site that enabled it all. A 2v2 situation, and his hands will be busy as Red Star comes over oh. top, denies the bomb plant. Hauser going to have to clutch this, ready for the mini feed, oh. but he just looks away. Slower rounds, it feels like the communication starts to fall apart a bit. They aren't de decisive enough to get past the utility of Fiend, and they aren't working the map. They aren't working the map as well, in general, and uh, are just, I feel like, a little bit too readable. But even with that one coming close, they still don't get it, man. 13 to 1. I didn't think we'd see a more dominant second game than Damn. the first. Yeah, no, certainly not from Fiend. This is stunning. I don't know what they did in between maps, but tell us your secrets. Speaking of which, Dignitas have a little bit of control of it. They're just going to sit in it, stagnate by choice. In addition to that smoke down below. Stunning CT side. I just wish Dignitas were a little less quiet in some of the... I mean, they're slower rounds, but... Util into the top site. Bubble reposition. Misses his chance at cutting down the players who want to challenge B. And with certainty, Dignitas are shooting for that second round win. Oh my oh, god, okay, Red right. Star. Choosing between a rock and a hard place, comes out with his kill alongside Harn and Victor. But then Heap gets the best of Dreamer inside of the vent, so it's going to need to be this ramp retake. Red Star forcing the fight forward oh in anticipation of the further peak. That's where Lecro gets his kill. But Victor has slipped through and slipped out. Maybe the 1v2 clutch to close out this stellar CT side. He taps that bomb and looks for the duel, which will be given with a T. <laughs> oh, Ancients. Assuming, Fiend. Assuming. Don't throw this lead. Watch this pistol. Whether you like it or not. Look at the shot from Freiburg. Oh. They're trying to take this vent drop. That flash will come out. They're going to combine with ramp and take it down. Heap's going to have some pressure from both sides. Oh, never mind. Look at that shot from Freiburg. Hey, you did call it. <laughs> what are you, a sorcerer? Oh, they're in a good spot, too. Electro with one as well. Oh. Making a double. Oh. He's got Heap to help out, and Freiburg closes. Yes. And Dignitas? It's going to take a lot more than a pistol. They just bought a new drum set. What does it sound like? That sounds like an expensive drum set. Yeah, man. Actually, it's free. You just gotta flap your gums, mm. slap your lips. You put your arms into it, though. Yeah, well, that's part of it. You gotta act it out. Yeah. If you don't act it out, then it doesn't work. Why are you withholding? Because it's the power of your imagination. Mm. And I imagine the Dignitas could make this game closer. Imagine DN. I imagine. <laughs> Was that a trap? What What do you mean? I don't know what you trap? just said. You have me... Oh, man, for anybody who didn't I said watch, imagine DN. Imagine... 
the end of this. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that tomfoolery, big guy. Easy peasy pickups. Forest heap and lecro kill a piece. Red star all that's left over. And he too is dead. A way to cool the nerves. That's something that people naturally do. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's also indicative of how challenging this map has been for them. Resident sleeper. Wow, info, info, info. No, nope. lower rotate here for forest. I'm gonna drop that there, bomb. Oh, what sticker is that? Rising Skull. Oh, cool. It's the only sticker he has on his vanilla guns. It's the only sticker he has on any of his inventory. Why do you know everything about everyone's inventory? Because I looked at all of his rust coat knives. You freak. He has all of them. Mm, oh, okay. They got a big old rust knife collection. Does he call them tetanus? Uh, I don't think so. Tetanus? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yep. It's not a thing. Flashes over towards a ramp. Heap may be starting to get a little nervous. And they should be. This is the big test of the CT side from mm -hmm. Dig. If you don't win the first gun round, it's 14-4. Your chances... Quite slim. Mm -hmm. Your comeback... Quite unlikely. But until they lose a gun round... <laughs> We give him a chance. MP9 from Freiburg, ready to go. Hauser dies right next to him, and Freiburg's not able to spin that into the second, but Lecro, up Ooh. from heaven, is good enough to stop a couple. Dreamer tried. You are aware of your tongue. Ah. I am aware that Fiend's odds are low in this round, and yet I'm also aware that Dignitas might still Dignitas. lose it. Dignitas. Oh, ladder fight, ladder fight. <laughs> Forest kills bubble. See, and that's one of the best ways. Like, you can call a timing on on, on a vent, or you can throw nades or mollies into it, but the best way is to make sure, with your own damn face, that no one's dropped in. Yeah. Physically block them. Physically block it at the door. Be the doorman. Like when someone tries to get off the airplane before you, but you are sitting in front of them. Jump up at them. Physically block them. <laughs> Keep prepared to shut down this desperate attempt from Fiend to get into the B site. It is all too easy for ye heat. Not terrible here. No. Last time Dig needed eight terrorist rounds to lose 16-13. This time they had far less. Some people say less is more. Oh, but it's not. Oh, a little shadow given away. Forest. Back sight, stand the test. This was a 5v3 from Dignitas, but it's turned back into the even keel. Freiburg looking for the hot kill. <laughs> Helzer, no skull Helzer. in the vent. All right, all right. Well, I will continue to laugh nervously as Team Fiend lose their lead. Nervous for them, of course, because this was supposed to be a shoe in That smoke's not right. That's smoked, though. It's that, a smoke. That is smoke. That is a smoke. It is not the smoke. There could be ten guys up there. But you can't see him because it's smoked. Uh, press X to doubt. Heap. Decent damage off of the nade. I actually just hit five, pe four people with that. Hauser comes in. This is... I love is I love seeing M4A1Ss get a buff because yeah, yeah, I just yeah. love how it sounds. I love all the kills. I don't want to see an A4 ever again. And I'm this is I'm probably meant to cross maybe. Right. And because and he was like, hey, yeah. Who threw that? Who threw that? To which no one answered. This game isn't close, but it's becoming slowly a little bit a touch closer. What a riddle. Yeah, I'm not trying to say anything about anything, but I'm just saying. Oh, anybody who plays in this position is a rat. Or a god. Bit of both. <laughs> I hate dying to people on top of garage roof. Like, Dude. You're, it's just not even supposed to be a you're thing. Like, if I cleared that, you'd be dead. Right? But and why don't I clear it? It's literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's good. It's but good. that's the whole throw, thing. Exactly. Throw it in every once in a while. Very Make people mad. Yeah. Sprinkle it into a little CT side comeback, and you'll have Team Fiend. Closer and closer, Dignitas managed to make this map. They close this one, and it's only a four-round lead, which on the CT side of Nuke feels like nothing. They're going to push back. Uh-huh. 
what's happening right now? I mean, don't do this to yourself. Okay. Don't do this to yourself. A late squeaky play is always the remedy. Oh. Uh. Ah, that nade is needed if Red Star was still alive, but Forrest shuts it down. And he is wiser than falling down the vents. Dreamer, seven health. So as time continues on, he's a dead man walking. Crazy. From 13-2. Yes. To 13-9. Yes. And not a single bomb plant. Oh. That's another bad one. The game goes on. That's less buys. Utility non-existent for Team Fiend. Forest opens up versus Victor. Oh, and they can feel that ramp play coming as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have the inkling. Why'd you say it like that? It's a weird word. I don't know how to say it. Inkling. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. Nice headshot. He again. Farming ramp. Dude, oh my just god. Wrecking. Another multi kill versus the armored piss for elimination. Oh man. This is for a spot in the Royal Arena. And this is the recovery phase from falling short of the PGL Stockholm Major. Yeah, I think we might need a touch of randomness here from Fiend to shake things up because we know Dignitas with some space are so good at putting pressure on. Well, they we, slipped the man downstairs. Yeah, at least we've got something. The timing will, be, of course, be called in this situation, but it's still good. And they'll get heaped downstairs where he's been a huge problem on the ramp, and they leave ramp open, so they're actually well fortified every single other place. And so maybe good. maybe Dignitas don't uh, think that there will be any chance of a ramp play considering how much heap has shut this down. But the rotation is actually for them to take over lobby, and it might be... Ooh. An interesting idea. Ramp is still open. Yep. And no one's actually taking care of hell at all. And they didn't take over the lobby. So the CTs are now uh, a little bit behind, I want to say. Mm. But they uh, but they might be calling the right site regardless. And Dreamer's still looking around because sometimes Forrest goes peeking through. Starting to make a bunch of sound in ramp room. Now, this is maybe very, very smart from Fiend. They just can come back upstairs. There's... Like a heavier stack down here, harder rotations back up. It'll come down to this upper site hold. But they'll use Harn to try and keep them locked into this B site. Heap looking the wrong direction, but oh, oh my man, God, he's just timing. slipped in. Did he make a step? There are still two CTs inside the A site. Forrest able to get Dreamer at the very least, and then the Vent Man goes down. Freiburg, he hits the dink, but doesn't get the kill. Hauserk pistols Red Star and quickly moves up into heaven. This round is not done yet. Bubble on nine health, Victor 81. Heap doubles back, using secret to enter through mini, perhaps. Oh, is he going to help him up the vent like this with a flash? A little bit of a heaven smoke. Lecro exits, gets instantly shut down by Bubble, focuses over towards mini. Heap gets that kill, and now oh. it falls on Victor, but Dignitas with a retake to keep the flawless CT side rolling. I like that retake. That was nice. That was nice. And who, uh, Heap has the loose piece. Even though he dies, he's able to get guaranteed info on a player kind of running from his position, which helps out in the 2v2 a lot. And you can see this kill comes down. And yep, they do. Bubble does a good job of dodging the flash and trying to reposition, but the punish is a lot easier for Heap, and he's been on fire. And Helzerk has that paint can, ominous paint can smoke to lurk over top of that's hard to disrespect sometimes. So 11 rounds, a harder retake, finally a bomb plant down for Team Fiend, but just the bomb plant. Closest round yet. Man. At least they have money here. And it took the entire round to set up that place. Yeah. Super elaborate. Let's see. I mean, I really, I just want to ask, like, for a tempo change from Fiend, but... Oh, wow. they try a little bit. Red Star getting aggressive, attempting to open on Mini, and he is caught by that deep garage spot. Harn will, again, get downstairs. But heaps back to where he has succeeded time and time again. That's over on ramp. Oh, Forrest might not be totally aware of this. Ooh, but he gets away from the fight, anticipates oh. the peak, and shuts down Harn. However, for the first time, Heap dies without killing what feels like oh, everybody the on the ramp. And Hauser gets into position just in the nick of time. Another round that's beginning to fall flat. Victor 1v4 doubles back up in ramp and is not able to... ...2, I guess. Another four, half force here. So they're going to have some money next round. Ugly. They gotta win. They gotta win one round eventually. I mean, uh, there's so many rounds you, you give yourself to to learn in the half. That's one other benefit of the lead. So sure, you know. Do they? 
That's gonna be a. Oh, it goes a bit far. Actually. Could have been worse. Yeah. Could have been worse. Still a good wall of smokes. Oh, but Lecro, a robbery versus Harn. And there's still a chance to catch. Oh, Bubble. He doesn't go down secret. He stands in the open, and now they're just being fed into the CTs at this distance. Some kind of an answer back from Victor, but his, half his health is gone. Goddamn. They stave off the outer play. You're just tuning in. This is 13-2. from 13-2 to a likely 13-all. Having already smashed Fiend on their map pick. Freiburg to the top of Hut, just as they exit through Squeaky. He has to tuck his head down. He's got the support from Forrest. There's a kill in from Dreamer, but just the one. It falls to Victor. Two kills on the round already. How completely out of steam. Just a total sea of blue in the round scores we see at the top. Uh, Dignitas have obviously shown they do well with this face. Oh, and we haven't seen Lecro in this position. We've had players in garage, we've had players downstairs, but think about how often Harn is able to get into this spot. Oh, he hits the Dink versus Red Star. That could come out to help him eventually, but Hauserk needs this kill oh, up close. Him, yeah. And up, oh, an unfortunate turn from Victor. This game is of millimeters and milliseconds, and Bubble may have just peeked out fast enough to draw this one back, but speaking of timing, Forrest very quickly on the heels of his enemies. Damn, and with a minute 12, we know Team Fiend like to put a pause on it. They've got outside control a number of positions to think about they watch the flank but no health on red star to answer back they understand that the hell or heaven rap has been compromised bubble can come out from heaven but he's not going to see anything for his struggles freiburg versus harn through mini and Harn walks unsuspecting into the angle. That's bomb drop and dignitas are going to lock in a lead from 2 to 13. Still no quick opening tactics to try to procure that uh, first kill. That can be oh so valuable. Honestly, I like the, you know, preemptive measures here, the early vent drop, in case they try anything tricky. Zerk, dangerous game. Oh, he's down. But, uh, I don't, he's he in a hold, strong position now. Bubbles holding it, but just as he gets here, Bubbles oh. starts to move. Missing his shot, though. Oh, but he's going to use their own smokes against them to at least just escape. And I feel like coming off of that position, escape is valuable in and of itself. Yeah. Two players to be on the other side of this squeaky door, and Hauserk ready for it. Bomb thrown down, and it oh, falls swing. into the CT side. No trade from Dreamer, and as he oh. comes out, Hauserk just lays down the law. Three kills in from Squeaky, and he's gonna miss the fourth, but Harn... Punishes and punishes again. Can't remember the last time I've seen a completely flawless CT side, but, I mean, I don't really see how Fiends can work out this round. They forced to buy four, three Galils, a tech nine and so much damage oh. on the cross and Hauser hits it through the smoke. Heap has been so solid on ramp. He's gonna offer two kills. Hauser comes oh in. God. It's a clinical execution unless Red Star with the most ridiculous 1v5 can turn this 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 fairy tale from Dignitas on its head. But I'm from NA <laughs> and I know a choke when I see one. Fourteen rounds in a row on the line. It's all in Red Star's hands. He's got the bomb, lays down smoke towards B, and even has an evacuation plan. If he runs it up to A, it's a hell of a challenge because he's just going to come off of this ladder right into Lecro. This could just end with a whimper, not a bang. And now that he's been seen, he has to redirect, but at least now he knows it's max two on B. However, they use this exact same spot against Dignitas, top silo on the site. Neither window broken. He's starting to realize, trying to find an exit strategy that everything is 